Hi everyone, it's Evie. Okay, so I got this really cool email yesterday from a gal who um, apparently is wanting to get back into the dating scene, but she's having a difficult time because she is, or she has been exuding a masculine type of aura to everyone she knows. In other words, I call that putting on your man coat, okay? And how do you get back into the scene, you know, and not be hurt and be vulnerable and all this stuff and start, try to start dating men again? And, um, you know what, you're always going to be hurt. You're always going to be vulnerable. And there's that risk, you know, if you, a life lived in fear is a life half lived. And sure, you can go out there and be super cautious, you know, and not let anybody in, but is that really how you want to leave, live your life, you know? Myself personally, I'll give you my own experiences, you know, whenever I exuded a masculine type of behavior around a masculine man, it was two guys fighting, that's what it ended up to be, fighting or arguing or whatever, and um, to the point of where twice being put in the hospital, you know, restraining orders and all that other crap. And uh, I think that women who are very masculine, not only in character, but physically, they end up getting in a lot of fights. And um, because the ma masculine male, he wants to be so powerful. He wants to be the winner. He wants to be number one. And for you men listening out there who are saying, that's bullshit, Edie. I'm in touch with my feminine side. I, I don't want to be number one all the time. I want to be, you know, meek and silent and really understand women. Well, guess what? If that's the way you want to be as a guy, that means that you are demonstrating a classic female type of aura. And men like that frustrate women. And I think that... Um, a man who is very feminine has a difficult time finding 10 class women. You know what I mean? Like scale from one to 10, she's a 10, oh my gosh. You know, how can I be in her league? And she always ends up with the football players and the baseball players and the motor motorcyclist guys that treat her like shit, you know, half the time. And so there is a fine line between being super masculine and super feminine. Going back to this, to this lady's question, she said, how can I get rid of my man coat? Well, girlfriend, what I recommend you do is I recommend you start just watching a lot of really feminine women and what are they doing, okay? I know a lot of you don't like Trump, you know, but look at Melania Trump. Okay, she is the alpha female. She's the 10, right? Donald Trump, no matter how many people don't like him, no matter how many people do like him, I would have to say, rarely, if ever, exudes a feminine quality. He is the alpha male, okay? That's probably why he ends up with a lot of 10s. Also, all his money, okay, helps too. But I'll tell you what, you have an extreme alpha and you have an extreme alpha, alpha male, alpha female, right in that relationship, okay? I don't know if I could picture Donald Trump with a very masculine woman, and I don't know if I could pr picture Melania with a very mas with a very feminine man, okay? One that's in touch with his feelings, you know, maybe does yoga, you know? Um, I'm just, I guess you could say that if you're having an issue getting rid of your man coat, Ladies, if you have an issue now, it's going to get harder and harder over time. You've got to start now to start thinking about that beautiful pink, red, lovely flower, its essence, its aroma, its, its uh, wonder between your legs. Okay? Now... Oh, this is shocking when I first heard this it took me two weeks to recover okay and I was like oh my god and this was told to me by two women who had
had give, each given me a private lesson, one from London, she was extremely feminine, and another from, uh, she was from Brazil, but she was living in Australia, and so I, when I was at those two places, I got a private lesson from both of them, and they told me, Edie, you know, you just got to think about your pussy, and I said, excuse me? <laughs> And uh, look, I just want a private lesson. I don't want anything more, okay? So, you know, she goes, no, 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 no. Just think about your pussy. And I was, <laughs> what? You know, and I just didn't get it. Um, you know, how they say men thinks with, think with their penises. You know, he thinks with his dick all the time, you know. Because he's very masculine. He wants a woman, you know. Well, if he can think with his dick all the time, why don't you just think of what's down there all the time? Especially when you get in front of a man, okay? When you get in front of a man, I want you to focus on that beautiful, sensual, lovely part that women, or that God gave you, okay? That all women have, that all men want. Don't talk about it, don't discuss it, just think about it. When you're around a masculine man or a man that you really want, stop focusing on, oh, he's gonna hurt me, I'm gonna get hurt, this sucks, you know, I'm gonna have to tell him how much money I make, uh, where I've been throughout the world, how much education I have, how successful I am, so that he won't fuck with me, you know? No, in fact, he's not gonna fuck with you, fuck you, or any, he's gonna leave, okay? So, because he, you're going to make him feel like a woman, or feminine, or less than. Men need to feel powerful. Men need to feel mighty. They need to feel like kings, okay? So give him that. The, in fact, the more that you allow him to feel mighty, powerful, and strong, the more alpha feminine you become, okay? Not through words. Don't try to tell him anything. In fact, the less you say, the better. That's why men like uh, Playboy centerfolds, right? She's beautiful. She's airbrushed. She's perfect, right? She has the perfect lips, the perfect body, the perfect everything, the perfect top, bottom, whatever. But really, the real reason why they like beautiful Playboy centerfolds is because she's not talking. Okay? That's it. You know? A lot of guys go for strippers. Why? Because they're very feminine. When they're in that dressing room, you know, they, they put on their little bikini, and what are they thinking about? They're thinking about the dollar bills that are going to go between her legs, on the bikini strap, wherever, and they start focusing on that beautiful part that God gave us. Now, a lot of industries now, industry, Put fragrance down there. Spray it. Don't let it smell. Ah! A lot of Latino men, before they make love to a woman, they say, don't shower. The essence turns them on, okay? If it's too clean, you know, then there's no real pheromones that they can get turned on by, okay? So I know this video is kind of blunt, but you know what? It needs to be said. Girlfriend, if you are trying to get rid of your masculine aura, it's really simple. You can do it in a split second. When you're around a man that you particularly like or when you're dancing with a man that you particularly like, stop focusing on the move. Stop focusing on trying to be perfect. Stop judging how shitty his lead is, whatever, or great his lead is. I want you to just focus on that beautiful part of your body that all men want. Think about its shape. Think about its essence. Think about its color. Look at it. Take a mirror and just look at it, okay? You think, wow, you know? And then you look at it. It looks like a flower, right? The inside petals of a flower. For those of you that know who Georgia O'Keeffe is, she's a world famous artist back in the, I think it was 20s or something. Anyway, she, if you look, up, look her up on Google, she made these paintings and they were of flowers, the inside of flowers. And one of the reasons why she became so famous is because subliminally those flowers looked exactly like the vulva, right? Of a woman's vagina, right? And men and women 
were intrigued by this. The most feminine, most beautiful, most soft, most quiet paintings in the world. Guys would ask me to dance and would fall in love with me on the dance floor when I was younger because of my styling. My styling was very feminine. It was very sensual. It was, I would smile always when I was dancing with the guys because I loved it so much and I still do. I would always make them feel like men. I always follow beautifully. Beautifully. My, my goal was to be the world's best follow. Okay? That, I didn't really want to be the world's best dancer, too much pressure. I didn't want to be the world's best whatever spinner, what, but I wanted to be the world's best follower. Okay? And if you can look at your relationship and say, you know what, I want to be the world's best follower of my man. I want to lift him up. I want to put him on a pedestal. I will step off the plate so that he can step onto the plate. Okay? When you do that, you will become so attractive and so alluring and so mesmerizing to all men you meet, okay? One woman in Australia told me, she goes, Edie, I, told, I did what you said. I didn't even put any makeup on. I just went out there. I was walking at my school and all these guys just were looking at me. I didn't even say anything. I just had on a pair of sweats, but I was focusing, focusing, focusing on that body part of mine and oh my gosh guys were coming right and left I did it to my husband once he looked at me and I looked at him while I was super focusing right and he started to caress me you know and I thought wow this is magical you know so that recommendation by two women from the Caribbean really really made me change especially when I'm around men. I did it once while I was dancing with a, a student of mine. I just started focusing on that body part, right? And um, after about maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, he looked at me and he smiled. And maybe it was because I stopped talking, maybe because I stopped bossing him around, I don't know. Oh, I wanted to go back to that story of, um, uh, when guys used to fall in lust with me when I was younger dancing, uh, doing all this beautiful styling and stuff, you know, um, with a smile, right? Yeah, ladies, show your teeth when you smile. Don't smile like this. Smile like this. Anyway, going back to that point, God, I digress. Check it out. He, um, the guys would fall in love with me until they actually got to know me. When they got to know me, okay, Edie, you're one person on the dance floor, but once you start opening your mouth, all right, you're a completely different person. I used to think, well, yeah, I would demonstrate my education, you know, my travel, my success, blah, 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 blah. Do you think they want to hear about that? No, they could give a shit about your success and about what you've done. They don't care. All they want is a beautiful feminine woman. You don't even have to be beautiful. In fact, these two women that I took privates from because they were so sexy, if you looked at them like at a mall or whatever, you would pass right by them unless they were thinking about that body part, right? So my recommendation to you ladies who are having a hard time dating, okay, is to take lady styling classes so that you understand how to move, how to move your body. Some women, like even when I tell them to just move their hips back and forth in a circle, they start to cry, you know, two of them. Edie, I've never moved my hips like this. Edie, I've never touched myself like this except in the shower, you know? And so take some styling classes from <clears throat> good instructors who know how to touch themselves, who know and aren't ashamed of it, you know, usually when they're teaching their moms aren't in the room so they can do whatever they want. But also who understand movement, who understand that little sex appeal, you know, that you can do with your body. Once you understand your body, you know, you can start to demonstrate that whenever you walk. You know, posture, putting your head high, smiling. Also, when you're on a cell phone, if you're always on a cell phone, what do you look like? Right? Is this very attractive? Top of my head, right? When you look up, you look younger, your skin is stretched, you don't have as many wrinkles. That's why you see a lot of Asians who take their videos like this. See? Look how young I look. Look how I don't have any wrinkles. Look how beautiful I am. And then 
they say, oh my God, don't take it like this, don't take it like this, don't take it like this, because all the wrinkles start coming forward. You see what I mean? That's why you'll see a lot of pictures like that. <laughs> anyway, okay, so, did this turn out to be longer than you guys expected? But I'll tell you what, if this stuff works. I was at a, when I was single, I don't do this anymore now that I'm married, but I was at a Starbucks and I was trying this, okay, focus on your body part thing. Anyway, and I was at a Starbucks and I said, okay, I'm gonna try this. And I closed my laptop because you know, you can move your laptop like this, right? So I closed my laptop and I decided to just sit there with my coffee cup when I used to drink coffee before I quit. Yes, I recently quit. I had three days of migraine headaches, but that's a whole other video. Anyway, I feel, I feel better by the way. Um, so I was staring at this guy that I was attracted to physically. Okay. I'd never, didn't even know who he was, but anyway, I was attracted to him and I just put my coffee cup down and I was just looking around the room, doing nothing, just sipping coffee and focusing on it. Okay. You know what it is, right? And so, um, after about, I think five minutes, he got up and he proceeded to leave and he walked right past me and I thought, ah, this didn't work, right? And all of a sudden I felt his hand on my shoulder and he said, you are a very beautiful woman. And I was in shock and he left, right? And I was like, ah, don't go, don't go. But I let him go and I was just, I couldn't believe it, right? And I think it's that, ladies, we get so caught up in our cell phones, so caught up in what we have to do. We have 50,000 things we schedule in one day. We can never get anything done. And we never take the time to just kick back and just relax and think of nothing. Men can do that. Men can think of nothing, right? I don't know how they do it, but they think of nothing. I think that we're just so damn busy all the time that we never give guys a chance, you know? In Cuba, the women walk very, very slowly. Once they pass a group of men, they drag their towel on the beach. They walk really slow. They're not on their cell phones. They're not on their smartphones. They're not on their computers. I don't even think they have that stuff over there. Anyway, they are so just natural, right? That they, they give guys a chance to actually approach them, you know? And if they're thinking about that body part down there, it, right? then the men are gonna come even more. Why? Because when you focus on it, when you concentrate on it, we start to emit pheromones, right? We start to like the essence. It's like when we're in the bedroom, you know, foreplay or whatever. We know that we're gonna have sex, it's coming. We start to get wet down there and it's like, wow. You know, that with that wetness comes an, a, a scent. And that scent is extremely powerful to men. We can't smell it as much as women, but the guys can. And they don't even smell. It's just something that they're feeling. That's why when a dog is in heat, okay, all the dogs in the neighborhood know about it, right? Boom, boom. And they're all at your house trying to get your dog, your female dog. And so I, that's what I highly recommend that you try for a while, okay? I would do a boot camp on how to be feminine. Um, I usually buy black um, luggage and black purses and all that. Today, I bought a, a dark blue purse with some flowers on it. <laughs> and I was thinking, I'm not going to get this. This is stupid. But then I thought about her email. And I thought, you know what? Why is this stupid? Why is a purse with flowers on it stupid? A guy would think that. Um, um, or a masculine woman would say, I would never be caught with a purse with flowers on it. Are you crazy? And that's what I was thinking. And I caught myself and I thought, because I was in ED mode, you know, busy, busy, busy dictator, you know? Um, and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy that purse with flowers on it and I'm gonna see what happens. And every time I look at that, I'm gonna think of that woman in her email and I'm gonna think about this conversation and I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna think about that beautiful, wonderful, lovely, incredible flower between my legs. And maybe that tough business, eaty man coat will soften up a bit or will leave and I can actually be 
the woman that God created. And what's cool is that I, when I, you know, when I go teach my classes, privates, I taught, geez, I taught, I taught 10 hours of privates the other day. Anyway, in one day, I came home, I was exhausted, but I was also revitalized because on the way home, I thought about what it would be like to be in my husband's arms. And this big old smile came across my face. And I was like, oh, I am so happy that he's my husband. I'm so happy that I found a real man for me, you know? And to say that he's nothing less than masculine is just like, whoa. Nobody's ever met my husband. <laughs> and um, I'm just so happy that he makes me feel like a woman, right? Because I allow that to happen. I didn't used to in the past. It took me three husbands to figure out that I need to soften up a bit and just let life happen and not everything's gonna get done and um, you just gotta let certain things go and just enjoy life and smile more and go buy a flower purse. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this helped you and uh, thank you very much for your email. I really appreciate it. I hope it helps a lot of women out there. Um, I have classes uh, specifically for these types of issues. Um, some of my lady styling classes and um, I would love to have you guys come out and take a class one time because I discuss things like this I, it's, I have a class called the it factor and um, I invite both men and women to come it's really a lot of fun I've done it like I don't know several times but if you ever see you know one of my it factor classes come out please do I teach styling all day and then the it factor so hope this helps all right this is Edie Salsa Freak signing out